Wednesday guys this is Meg at Chasing Retro and today I am just going to put up a very short Happy Meal video. I received this package from one of my viewers uh, Peggy who is so so sweet to send me all of these lovely goodies and I wanted to open it with you guys to see what she has sent. If you would like to participate in a Friendship Any Day uh, collaboration, so that's what I'm going to call this because it's not Friendship Friday, uh, use the hashtag Friendship Any Day and link back to Dale at Not Too Shabby Chic. She is the host of this collaboration. So, without further ado, let's see what Peggy sent. Oh, goodness. Things are falling out in my lap. Here we go. Okay, I'm sure there's a note in here somewhere. I think I might have opened this upside down. Let me see. There's a note. Thank you so much, Peggy, for these beautiful items. I cannot wait to go through them. Peggy also recently bought one of my sewing pattern journals, so she said she is enjoying that. That is probably one of my favorite types to make. There's I just, I can't get enough of the sewing ones. <laughs> okay, she has sent some really adorable Care Bear stickers. Look at the, look at them. Adorable. And oh my goodness, I was getting so low on my bingo cards. So this is awesome. These are really, I like the, the, shape, the shape of these. I have some that are more square but they're just kind of hard to fit into journals. These are perfect. They're like an index card size. Some lovely glassine feeling craft color bags. These are always welcome. Oh, look. So, um, unfortunately, um, this package got stuffed into my mailbox. <laughs> instead of left, you know, on the front porch. So a lot of these things are a little bent, but I think I can, um, I think I can still salvage them. But look at this little instructions for a Jewish shofar. This is awesome. Pensacola Christian College. Let's see. Okay, we've got the little, this is so neat. So it looks They've got it textured already and you can cut it out and assemble it. That is so neat. And then it's, I guess it's showing you the patterns that you can draw on them. That is so cool. Oh my, a Scotland postcard book. This is amazing. Oh, I love it. Make sure y'all can see. So pretty. I would like to go here one day. Thank you so much, Peggy. Those are beautiful. She sent me some vintage threads. I'm using red thread in my strawberry journals, um, as well as white and pink. I just switched to a hot, like a hot pink color. <laughs> to add a little more interest, but I love these old um, wooden spools. All right, let's see, we have a little package of stuff. Oh, look at these pastel bags. I think I have some similar to these from Hobby Lobby, but they're not big. These are great, because the ones I have are not quite big enough to fold and sew into a journal. These are. having trouble separating. Look at that, look at the colors. Ooh, I love that peach. So awesome, yay. And some beautiful red labels. You know what, these, these will be going in the strawberry journals for sure. I'm gonna set these over here in my little stack. They look like jam labels. And an adorable baby napkin. Would that not be so sweet decoupaged onto a tag. Oh, that is so cute. So, so cute. Oops, I'm forgetting something. 
we have some bulb pins and look at those gray safety pins you don't really see those i've never seen any like that they look almost like baby pins but very small i love those Ooh, look Blumen von Israel. I don't know what language that is, but these must be native plants. And then I see a poppy, an iris, and daffodil. This book looks vintage. You can tell by her, her makeup and her hair. So cool. Oh yeah, this will this will go in the Jewish journal folder for sure. Look at this. This is so cool. This could be used both for baby journals and teddy bear journals, which I just uh, uncovered a whole wealth of other teddy bear things in my stash that I didn't know I had. So I'm excited about those. I feel like those would be something that I want to work on this fall, like sort of a cozy journal because teddy bears are just cozy and homey and cute. Oh, we got another Jewish. This is in Hebrew. It's like a, I think it's a greeting card. Yep, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's a mosaic. So pretty. Isaiah 43. Awesome. Yes, Israel was born in a day. So lovely. Thank you so much, Peggy. Oh, goodness gracious. Look at that. Those are adorable. Yes, these will be going straight into the strawberry journals. And I will be putting a few into my cookbook binder folder too. Because those, those are just, it says from the kitchen of. So definitely adding that. Oh my goodness. What? Where did you find this? This is so cute, Sunshine Bear, 1994. I'm gonna have to write a letter to my best friend and stamp it with this. She will love it. Isn't that cute? All right, and oh, look at this. This is very vintage, Birthday Bear. That's just crazy, it's not even opened. I just can't get over new old stock. Does anyone else get so amazed by new old stock? <laughs> Is it just me? I'm literally like flabbergasted every time I come across something. 1983. Oh my word. This is so cool. My daughter will love this too. Oh, look at these. Woolworths. I would give anything to be able to go back into a Woolworths store. I love that. Look at that retro daisy pattern. Oh yes, I'll be hoarding this one. It's gonna be real hard for me to let go of that one. That one may have to go in my personal sewing journal. <laughs> and then some seam, hem facing. Excuse me, I get those two confused. Hem facing with the beautiful blue lace. Another spool. And some gorgeous um, gold, I almost said blue, <laughs> gold rickrack. And, oh, cool, look, one of these vintage, well-used, starchy tape measures. I love cutting these up and sewing them onto tags and things. Oh, another spool. I almost missed that one. Invitations for strawberry shortcake party. This is adorable. Look at this, that pink is amazing. It's like a salmon pink, I love it. Put that in the strawberry pile. Look at this baby rickrack. I love this stuff, I love it, I love it. I could just collect rickrack and nothing else. I love rickrack. These are cool. Yeah, these are what you would put on top of a picture frame. I actually just bought a vintage picture at a yard sale and I hung it. It had one of these on it and I hung it with a 
sewing straight pin on my wall. Um, I learned this trick when we were in the, um, when my dad was in the army, we weren't really allowed to put many holes in our walls because we were in army housing. They had a lot of rules about that. So my mom would hang more of our lighter stuff, our very lightweight stuff like needlepoint in a hoop with a sewing pin. So when you pulled the pin out, you could barely even see the hole if you could at all. So a lot of times my small needle points are hung like this and I'll use a straight pin. This is cool. I just love the packaging too. Look at that wallpaper. Isn't that great? And then more baby Rick Rack. Look at that green. Oh, this is a cool paper clip. Yeah, I'm putting that in my little paper clip bowl. I thought these were fun. Apparently, this place is no longer in operation in Ohio. Ooh. Let's see what this is. It's like a little mini Europe. <laughs> oh, wow. I've never seen a giant postcard. Maybe I have, but not in a long time. That's really cool. I guess it would probably take a regular stamp back then. But look at this. Here's the Pisa Tower. I guess that's Trevi Fountain. Yeah. Is this the Grand Canyon? Oh, that is so cool. How fun would this be to have built in a parking lot of a store? I mean, can you imagine this, the board meeting? Hey guys, I have an idea. <laughs> the Taj Mahal and everything. Oh my goodness, this is cool. Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls next to Taj Mahal. Hmm. This is cool. I'm going to have to show my parents that. They went to Niagara Falls uh, last year or a couple years ago. Have fun. Look at Bedtime Bear. Oh, it's like a stand-up card. How adorable. Oh, my goodness. It's your very first birthday. Oh, I wonder if there's a date on here. 86. That does not even look that old. But I can tell it's vintage Care Bears because of the font. They had the little hearts for the eye. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. Cabbage Patch paper. Wow, Peggy, you have just, you hit the 80s jackpot for, for sure. A very old Target tag. <laughs> this is so cool. Um... So my best friend and I used to, um, she mainly played with ponies and she, and I mainly played with Barbies, but we overlapped in our interest with Cabbage Patch. We both had Cabbage Patch. And every summer we would have a huge Cabbage Patch birthday party. I mean, it was legit. We had cake, ice cream, candles, get wrapped gifts. This would have been awesome to have at that party. So cool. Okay. We got some cute playing cards here. Those like old maid. I've never seen any of this shape. Isn't that so adorable? I like it that they're just little kids, you know? That's so cute. Here's some Scottish cards. I love that. And Queen Mary. That's interesting. Look at that. Whoa. Those are fun. Those just make you happy. I'll tell you what. These three colors together, pink, orange, and yellow, are just trifecta. Okay. Edgy cards. To make a flip movie, put cards in numerical order and riffle the top deck with a thumb. Ah. It's like a flip book. I used to make those on the corners of textbook pages in school. That's neat. I didn't know that that existed. Here's a rain card. I'll put this over here in my rain folder, which I still have going for a future rain journal. Pokey little puppy. Oh, these are the little golden book cards. These are so cute. Saggy baggy elephant. Tub. Tuffy, is that right? A little rabbit, scuffy, not Tuffy, scuffy. 
This is one of my favorite little golden book stories of all. I love the color kittens. The duck, toodle, shy little kitten. Isn't he cute? Great big fire engine, tawny scrawny lion. Thank you, Peggy. Aw, this looks like something you might stick in a cupcake, maybe. Is that not precious? I love it. Again, seeing things this old in such great shape, I'm just blown away, always. I'll never stop being amazed by that. A brand new brother. <laughs> but we like him. We call him Blank. Stort brought him on the Blank at Blank. And we have the same parents, too. Isn't that so, so cute? Look at the bunnies. And the chick. <laughs> so cute. And a baby shower card. Oh. Look at this one. Oh, this is adorable. Peggy, thank you so much. You have blessed me today. And I'm super excited about these things. I may have to send a little piece of this to my my best friend. She um she will love this. I made her one of the very first journals I made was one for her. I made her an 80s journal. And way back in my archives on this channel, you can see that if you want to watch it. It's um it has a whole bunch of fun 80s toys and memories in it and this this would be an awesome piece to add add to an 80s journal for sure i can't wait to work on some more of those so again if you would like to participate in friendship any day just use that hashtag and link back to not too shabby chic and have fun thank you so much peggy for blessing me today and sending me this unannounced happy mail. I'm glad you're enjoying your journal and I hope all of you have a magnificent day. We'll see you next time.